Today, computers are an integral part of our everyday lives. They are being used in every industry around the world, from laptops to smartphones, smart wearable devices, and many such other devices. Everything you can think of is done using the website or an application from watching movies to ordering food or a cab. As you might already know, people write software or applications to optimize the use of these computers. With all this popularity comes a massive demand for the people who can write or code these applications that can run on these computers. This has created an opportunity for everyone to learn to program and use that skill in almost every industry that they work in. Hey everyone, welcome to another yet exciting video from Simply Learn. In this session, we will be discussing which programming language you should learn first. However, before we begin with this session, let's take a look at the agenda for today's discussion. First, we will begin with learning the role of programming. Then, I will walk you through our next topic to understand which programming language you should learn first. After that, we will move into learning jobs to be expected then we will dive deep into learning the top and trending programming languages at present. Finally, we will wind up by discussing the benefits of learning programming. Before we begin with the session, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without any further ado, let's get started with our first topic on the session. What is the rule of programming? Programming language is an artificial language used to control a machine's behavior, particularly a computer. Programming languages are used to facilitate communication between organizing and manipulating information to express algorithms precisely. Programmers usually code and work on the programs to communicate easily with the computer. Programming also involves maintaining debugging, troubleshooting, and many software-related issues. Now, let's have a look at which programming language you should learn first. The first step to learning programming is to identify the programming language you would want them to learn. Focus on courses that start from the basics of programming language because at the end, concepts should be clear so you can grasp any language you want to learn and gain proficiency in that language. It is also quite easy to understand the concepts when you move further. Most of the programming languages are related to one another. Most of the concepts are always covered in other languages as well. If you are a beginner to programming and looking forward to learning programming, then C programming language is the best programming language to start with. C programming language covers all the basics which can make it easy to learn other programming languages. A general purpose programming language supporting structured programming, lexical variable scope and recursion with a static type system. In simple terms, we can say C programming language is a computer programming language developed to do system programming for the operating system Unix and is an imperative programming language. It was initially developed at Bell Labs by Dennis Ritchie between 1992 and 1993. It was designed to provide low level access to memory and language constructs that map efficiently to machine instructions, all with minimal runtime support. Let's have a look at some of the top topics covered in C programming language. Data types, storage classes, input and output, control statements, operators, functions, pointers, memory management, and file handling. Let us have a look at a simple program in C programming language. Here is the code of how we can develop a program in the C language. This is a basic program in C language. You can see that on my screen we are trying to print a simple message using C programming language that is hello world. Now moving ahead, let's talk about some major benefits of learning C programming language. Once you have a good command over C programming language, you might want to go to an advanced level of programming by learning new programming languages and become a software developer. Or in case if you are not interested in programming and you're good at numbers, then you might want to become a data scientist or a data analyst. And there are a wide spectrum of jobs available in the IT industry based on programming. Now let us have a look at the jobs to be expected in the IT industry once you are comfortable with a programming language. There are many types of jobs to be expected after learning programming but let us see at the top trending jobs in the IT industry which give a heavy and handsome salary. 
The first and top one of those is the data scientists. A data scientist is a professional who gathers and analyzes large sets of data. Data scientists also possess and help in solving complex problems. The skills that a data scientist should possess are to be good at mathematics, statistics and analytics and also some good programming languages like Python, R and SQL. Followed by that we have Big Data Engineer. Big Data has been a revolution in every business sector. A Big Data developer is responsible for storing, processing and analyzing the data. They design and develop significant data architecture. They should have some skills like Hadoop, Apache Spark, Java and SQL. Next we have Software Developer. So this kind of job role is especially for those people who are really interested in coding and programming. Software developers majorly analyze, design and develop software to make the ends meet. They maintain the design and software system. At times, they also oversee the work of computer technologists, programmers and technicians. They should have skills like mathematical aptitude, problem solving skills, programming languages, excellent organizational and time management skills, accuracy and attention to detail. Next we have web developers. Web developers try to develop the software applications and integrate user-facing elements into applications. They also help and instruct the organizations with logical frameworks. They should have some good skills with web development and web development programming languages like Python, PHP and much more. And also they should be comfortable with web development frameworks. So now that we have discussed the jobs to be expected after having some fundamental understanding with programming, let us see how the jobs are categorized in IT industry. Majorly the jobs are categorized into two segments, software development and web development. And on the other hand, we have data science and data analytics. So if you are a hardcore programmer, then you can choose software development and web development. If you're good with numbers, statistics and like to make predictions using the data, then data analytics is the good job role for you. And if you're interested in developing machine learning algorithms and try to interact with artificial intelligence, then data science would be the right job role for you. Now, let us understand the top trending programming languages for either of the job roles. For being a software developer and a web developer, the major programming languages that you need to concentrate on are Python, Java and JavaScript. So the major skills that you need to require to become a software developer or a web developer are to have a good command over coding, proficiency in data structures and algorithms, having a good knowledge of database, software testing, JavaScript, HTML and CSS, SEO that is search engine optimization and lastly front-end and back-end application development. So the major skills required by a data scientist and a data analyst are having good understanding of SQL, Microsoft Excel, R programming language, Python programming language, machine learning skills, presentation skills, data visualization and critical analytical thinking. Now let's have a look at the top and trending programming languages and the first one in the list is Python. Python is the most preferred programming language because of the syntax of Python programming language can be very easy to understand for all the readers. And Python programming language is also loaded with libraries that help in implementing scientific computing. Working and deployment in Python are supportive and easy in any environment. So these are the some of the topmost topics covered in Python which include strings, lists and tuples, dictionaries and sets, conditional execution and loops, comprehensions, functions, modules, scopes and namespaces, file handling, writing library, object oriented programming, this is the most important concept. Then we have iterator, generator, decorators, regular expressions, building framework, exception handling and context manager, meta classes, introspection, multi-threading and multi-processing. Now, let us also understand some of the important reasons to learn Python programming language. Python provides clean syntax that is easy to understand and learn for beginners. By learning Python, we can expect better jobs with high paying salaries. One of the major benefits of Python is it provides open source development. These are few reasons why to choose Python. And the next one is Java. In this modern time, Java is the best language to choose. Nearly thousands of applications, software and development tools are built using Java programming language. This technology is mainly used in creating websites such as YouTube, Google, Amazon and much more. Some of the important topics to be covered in Java are object-oriented programming concepts, basic Java constructs like loops and data types, string handling, 
collection framework, multi-threading, exception handling, generics, synchronization, serialization and deserialization, concurrent collection, swing, graphical user interface and access modifiers in Java. Now, let us also learn some of the important reasons to choose Java programming language. There is a lot of demand for Java developers in the software industry for its benefits. Java also provides open source library support, which is a major benefit in the development of applications. Java also offers a wide range of development tools, which help develop the applications in a better way. These are a few reasons why to choose Java. And the next one is our programming language. Our language is very scalable and makes it easy to build aesthetic web applications. This language is mainly developed using statistics and data science knowledge. R acts as a cross-platform because of the ability to run on any operating system. So some of the important topics to be learned are how to manage CSV files, Excel files, binary files, XML files, JSON files, web data, how to connect to a database and then the data visualization tools which include learning how to create pie charts, bar charts, etc. Then how to calculate mean, median and mode, linear regression, logistic regression, normal distribution, binomial distribution, Poisson regression, non-linear, least square, decision tree, random forest, etc. So all these things come under statistics. Now let us also look at some of the important reasons to choose R programming language. R is machine independent. It supports cross-platform operation. Thus, it is usable on many different operating systems. R is an open source programming language. Due to this, R has a huge community that contributes to its environment. R helps in development of interactive web applications. So these are the few reasons why to learn R programming language and the most important and final one is the JavaScript. JavaScript is responsible for fast and secure development. The main advantage and perspective are to provide more interactivity with the users and coders. It also helps in expanding innovative technologies which involve animation, gaming and rendering. Some of the important concepts to be learned in JavaScript are objects, classes, functions, properties, methods, accessors, constructors, prototypes, iterables, sets, maps, HTML, DOM, asynchronous, browser, object material, web APIs, JSON, and jQuery. Now, let us understand some of the reasons why to choose JavaScript. JavaScript is the most popular language, which is a reason for increasing the development and speed of applications. JavaScript is easy to learn and understand, which is a major benefit for learning JavaScript. JavaScript also provides the ability to support all browsers, which can be more beneficial to choose JavaScript. So these are the few reasons why to choose JavaScript. Finally, let's have a look at the benefits of learning programming. Programming helps in building self-confidence in a person while dealing with projects. They also hold a critical role in career development. Programming also helps in improving creativity. While dealing with the applications and projects, they use much creativity to develop those. They require a lot of creative knowledge and also it helps in starting your own business. Programming also helps in situations like problem solving. Using these, it is easy to find solutions to complex problems perfectly. And also, it helps in development of creative and innovative technology. And this was all for today's session. Hope this session was informative and interesting. If you have any queries regarding any of the concepts covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.